Hello IT pros and welcome back to my IT workshop. This is Alvin Drill. Before we start this video, I just want to say that this particular video is very important to me because it's the number 101 in this channel. So more than 100 videos in my channel. So that's crazy. Thank you very much for watching. So now I have a lot of videos related to Chromebooks. I have a playlist. If you're interested in that, you can click on the top right of this screen or on the video description below. Okay. So as you can see, I have this Dell Chromebook 11 inches. The model is 3100, but this fix is going to work for many other models as well as, well as manufacturers. So the problem is, that is reported with this Chromebook is that, is that it has a frozen screen. So I'm going to open it and we're going to see what's going on. I'm, going, I'm not going to connect the, the charger because it's already charged. And as soon as I open the lid, you're going to see the power light. So after a few seconds, you, you can see the welcome screen, Chrome, and that's all it does. It's stuck in the screen. And in a few more seconds, the Chromebook, the Chromebook is going to restart itself. I didn't touch anything. I didn't press anything. So the problem is not that it's uh, shutting down all the time and rebooting. The problem is that it doesn't go beyond the screen, Chrome, and that's pretty much it. So. What we're going to do now is uh, the video sped up, so I'm going to leave it that way. And right now is a good time to remind you to subscribe to the channel and like this video for the YouTube algorithm. So I'll just show you my hand to show you that, well, the video sped up and nothing is happening. So I left it like one hour like that before the video and nothing happened. So we need to do something else. And now I'm going to shut it down. As you can see me there, I'm pressing the power button. And now I'm going to turn it on back again to see if there is some to see if it works, to see if there is some changes. But sadly, the, that's not the case. So we are still we are still stuck in the Chrome screen. So now well, the, the first thing I, I try to do is to power wash it. So that means reset it to factory setting. So for that, you have to press Ctrl Alt Shift and the R, which is for reset. That I'm pressing the, the E key as well because I forgot, but it's Ctrl Shift Alt R. I have a video for that as well. That's on the playlist. So it's not working. The next thing we have to try is to uh, reinstall the operating system because this problem is related to that. So for that we have we need the operating system. So for that I have this USB which contains already the operating system for Chrome OS. I have a video where I explain in detail how to create the bootable USB. I'm going to leave the link in the description below. Okay? I'm not going to do this video because it's going to be way too long, especially when I have already done it. So once you have that device, once you have the operating system, it has to be at least four gigabytes for the USB. And you connect it to any available USB port and you have to press the key combination escape, refresh, power. I'm going to show you right now escape, refresh and power. So escape, refresh and power. And as you can see, the screen has gone black. So and we have this message. So let me check it out. You are about to recover your computer. Please make sure it is plugged on the power source. If you want to cancel the recovery, press the power button and hold it down for, uh, for about eight seconds. So we don't want to do that. OK, so that's what we want. By the way, you are going to lose everything on the Chromebook. OK, so when you reinstall the operating system or power wash the Chromebook, you are going to lose everything, all the information and users. So it says system recovery is in progress. This might take a few minutes, please keep it connected to the power. But I didn't do it because I know it's 100 percent. I leave it connected for uh, one hour or something. So allowed me a few minutes to adjust my camera. This process took on this model about four minutes and a half or five. So the video sped up, as you can notice. And when it's done, it's going to give us a message. By the way, um, again, um, the video to create the bootable USB and all the and all the steps is very easy to do. It's in the video description below. OK, so don't forget to check that. So uh, after this has uh, has finished, it's going to give us this message. System recovery is complete. Please remove the recovery media and your computer will restart automatically. So after we see that, after in this case four, four and a half or five minutes, I'm going to show you that I'm going to remove the uh, bootable USB that contains the operating system for Chrome OS and uh, the computer is going to restart by itself. So we're going to wait a few a few minutes, well, not minutes, a few seconds. You can see the Chrome welcoming screen. So we hope that it works now. We're waiting. 
and let's see yes it worked so it has the operating system has been reinstalled we can see the welcome in the screen we have to go to let's go and we are going to proceed with the next step so you have to choose a wi-fi network because chrome os kind of doesn't do much if you don't have a wi-fi connection so after you choose the wi-fi connection that you that you may like you press continue and now the chrome the google chrome os terms you click next updates if there is any and now this chromebook in particular is enterprise enrolled that mean that means it's used by a company a school university and that's why you can see enterprise enrollment if this is your personal you are not going to see that at all and after that you can sign into the chromebook whether it is your personal or this or is for a company so that's that's how we fix the problem so that's all i wanted to show you in this video guys uh, how to troubleshoot a, a chromebook that has a frozen screen so if you like this video please leave a like and subscribe if you have any other comment or questions leave them in the comment section below and as always i'll see you in the next video